Hello everyone, welcome to the part 4 of agent based simulation. So in this part we will be adding the word of mouth effect with our stat chart. So in this phase we will model what is often called the word of mouth effect, the way people persuade others to purchase a product. So that is maybe like you have purchased our product and you give positive feedback about the product of me and I become convinced that I am also going to buy the product okay so there are two points to consider people will be contacting with each other that is the agents will be communicating between each other in our model a consumer contacts an average of one other person each day okay so that's the assumption we are making our products current users may influence potential users during this meeting we will define the probability of a potential user buying the product as adoption fraction rate at a rate of like 10%. So let's develop the model's logic by adding two consumer parameters, contact rate and adoption fraction rate. Okay. So let's add the parameter. We need to head to the palette in the agent element. We'll find the parameter. We'll be adding two parameters. Parameter 1 and after that we'll be dragging another parameter we'll call it parameter 2 okay so let's rename the name of the first parameter to like a contact rate okay contact rate contact rate <coughs> and second one we'll call it adoption fraction okay so the contact rate will be the contacts or agents will be meet, uh, uh, agents will be communicating between each other So it will be one. Okay. And after that, we'll, we will also add the adoption fraction rate to zero point zero one. That means ten percent of the potential users will be convinced based on the contact rate. Okay. So this is what your graphical editor will look like after defining all the parameters. Now we will allow our agents to interact. This represents the word of mouth discussions that will convince a percentage of consumers to buy the product. Okay, so let's work on the agent interaction. In any logic, supports a communication mechanism unique to agent-based modeling, which is called message passing. Okay. So an agent can send a message to an individual agent or a group of agents. A message can be an object of any type or complexity, including a text, string, an integer, a reference to an object or a structure with multiple fields. To send the message to another agent, we will use specific agents function. The information below is the most frequently used functions for sending messages from one agent to another. Okay, so let's start. Open the consumer diagram and increase the user state with the internal. Increase the user state with the internal transition. We will draw inside this state on the next step. Okay, so we are going to increase the size of the user state chart. Now we will be drawing an internal transition inside the user state. Let's go to the transition. So this is the transition. Okay. 
So what we have done, we have drawn an internal transition inside the user state. So draw a transition like the one shown here. Can move the transition endpoint to another point on the state border to add a salient point. Double click the transition as it showed right now. Okay, so let's talk about the internal transition. An internal transition is a cyclic transition that lies inside the state. So this lies within the state user. The transition start and end points both lie on the state's border. The end point is lying here, and the starting point is lying here and the endpoint is lying here. So let's modify the properties of the transition we just defined. We are going to rename it to contact. Okay. And we will be triggering it by red. Red will be the contact rate we just defined. Here is the contact rate. Okay. And on action, we want it to send a message. So we we'll write the following code send to random. First bracket, write within the double inverted comma by. Okay. Since we want our products users to speak to potential user, we will set up a cyclic transition in the state user. Each time the transition takes place, the code sent to random by causes the consumer to randomly choose another agent and send them a buy message. If the agent who receives the message is a potential user in other words if the receiving agent is in the state potential user the receiving agent state will change to user okay so let's add the this transition now draw another transition from potential user to user state Okay, so we need to draw another transition from potential user to the user. I'm going to adjust the location of the previous one and I'm going to drag another transition, connect it and I'm going to name it word of mouth. In short, I will be writing WAM. Okay. So it will be triggered by message. Uh, on a particular message, message type will be string as we are sending random message called by. So it's a string, message will be by. Okay, in message, it will be by. So, guard, in guard, I'm going to be writing. Uh, so, let's talk about the guard option. Since we know not every contact is successful. In other words, a contact may not convince the potential user to buy our product. We will use adoption fraction to make successful contacts less common. Specify the transitions guard random true adoption fraction. Okay, so we're going to write random true adoption fraction. Okay. So in guards and transition, when a state chart enters a simple state. The triggers of all outgoing tran uh, transitions are collected and the state chart begins to wait for any of them to occur. When a trigger event occurs, the guard of the corresponding transition is evaluated. If the guard is true, the transition may be taken. Though alternative simulation events could reset the trigger, this algorithm of guard evaluation is called guards uh, after triggers. So this is the last step in modeling word of mouth marketing. Any logic forwards the message from one another agent to the state chart, and if the state chart is in the state potential user, it 
causes an immediate transition to the user state. If the state chart is in any other state, it will, not, it will ignore the message. So in the projects view, you may see an asterisk near the model item that shows your model has unset changes on the toolbar. Click save model. So if you go to the project, this asterisk means you have unsaved model. Um, so I'm going to save the model and the asterisk will disappear. Okay, so now we are going to run our model. Uh, it is showing there is some error. Let me check. Let's build the model to check if there is any error or not. We can see there is no error. So now I'm going to run the model. Let's speed up the model to 10x. So let's go to the consumer environment. Here you can see the advertisement is running. All our potential users are here. Now, all of them are okay. you can see we have got all of our agents as the users using the user state. So that's all for today. If you find this video useful, you can like this video, subscribe to our channel and leave any comment for if you have any questions i'll be answering those questions so have a good day